Hey you, welcome back. I made some bad investments, you hear me? I purchased this van in March of 2019 and it has about 57,000 miles on it now and most of those are actually trip miles. And after all of the camping trips and the trips across country, I think I've got a good idea about how I've wasted my money. So I'm gonna share with you today three things that were bad investments for my particular build out. I'm gonna qualify this statement because I do not live in the van, right? This is an adventure van for us. Our build out is very tailored to our needs. I'm gonna order these in financial impact to my wallet. Coming in at number three, little buddy, Mr. Heater. We've used it twice in all of the trips. I just do not like using propane as a heat source. It's a very dry heat and uh, it is a beast to keep up with fuel. If you don't have a thermostat, you're kind of left up to your own devices to control it, and there's a much more efficient way to do that, I think, and that's with a diesel heater, and we love our diesel heater, and it has a remote so I can be in bed, and uh, if I want to control the heat, you know, I can either turn the fan on and extract some of that heat, or I can just uh, turn the diesel heater off with a remote. I like simplicity. Uh, and the diesel heater has always worked for us. All right, so that was number three. That was the little buddy propane heater. Coming in at number two is the microwave. That's right. I put that in when I first built the van because I thought it would get good use. And actually what it turns out to be is storage. Right now we have, let's see, paper towels, some granola, and some toilet paper stored in there. We've used it twice. Actually, I take that back three times. I think my dad used it twice to cook popcorn when we were on our first cross country trip. And then I, me and my brother were on a trout fishing trip in the mountains. And I believe we warmed up a side in the microwave, but we just do not use the microwave whatsoever on our particular camping trips. We'd much rather cook using the propane stove, to be honest with you, or even a charcoal grill, whatever. It just suits our needs. So if you're thinking about putting a microwave in a van, you may want to assess how often do you use a microwave. I just don't see the need for a microwave to warm anything up. We use mostly propane burners to do that. This was a fairly inexpensive microwave and it's the Commercial Chef. And you can see here, it doesn't have any digital controls on it. So it's all analog. We're gonna send uh, this particular microwave back with H Money was in college now we'd get much better storage here if we didn't have the microwave inside the slot commercial chef is about to get a college education all right that was number two microwave oven number one on the list you see the little silver aluminum thing right here yep this thing that goes from there all the way to the top hear me out if you're gonna buy a ladder first of all the ladder needs to extend over the top of the van, right? This ladder falls short, and if you have a rack or anything that's mounted to the top of the van, just a eight inch extension, and perhaps maybe it curves over, right? If that was part of this particular ladder, it would be way more useful, way more useful than it is now. As it sits, it is the most expensive Rotopax holder. I'm not cutting against the quality of the ladder. The quality of the ladder, this is the Prime Design ladder, phenomenal quality. I can do much better with the, the Costco ladder that I have and uh, with the pool noodle on top to get on top of the van. With this ladder right now as it stands, I can basically access the back part of the Max Air fan and that's about it. If the ladder actually extended a little bit above, not much higher than a max air fan or actually just level with the max air fan, it would give you something to grip onto. You could actually get on top of the van without much effort. You know, if you're climbing up a ladder on a house, the ladder needs to extend above the roof line for it to be useful because you got to get off of the ladder, right? And uh, this makes it very awkward to do any work on top of the van. Made my number one on the list because it was fairly expensive. So that's going to wrap this video up for the top three things that had the most impact on my wallet, yet serves the least amount of purpose in my life. Let me know in the comments down below if you feel the same. Just remember, everybody needs a plan B. Ciao, ciao for now. Bye.